Welcome everyone, I'm Brent Testerman with CFM Company. In this video you will learn how to program the ABB ACH580 drive for start-stop and frequency reference control over serial communications. You will also learn how to change the third line of the display to show the frequency reference using percentage. Depending on the building automation control sequence, the start-stop command, frequency reference, and status can be either hardwired, sent over serial communications, or a combination of both. The advantage of using serial communications is that the VFD control can be accomplished using a single pair of communication wires. The ACH580 includes the following standard embedded field bus protocols. Modbus RTU, BACnet MSTP, Johnson N2 and GP1, a Siemens FLN compatible protocol. Additional protocols are available with the installation of an optional field bus adapter, FBA. Field bus adapters are available for DeviceNet, LawnWorks, Profibus DP, BACnet IP, Ethernet IP, and Modbus. Note. Instructions to program a field bus adapter, FBA, are similar to the programming shown in this video. This video will focus only on the programming required for the embedded field bus. Depending on the model of ACH580 drive, the serial communications wires are landed at different locations. For drives without an Eclipse bypass, such as a base drive or a drive with a package disconnect, the wires for serial communications are landed on the EFB terminals of the drive. For drives that include an Eclipse bypass, such as a box style enclosure or a vertical style enclosure, the wires for serial communications are landed on the horizontal terminal strip of the bypass control unit, RBCU. For full details on how to program the drive for BACnet MSTP, see the link to our videos, Program BACnet MSTP in the ACH580 and Program BACnet in the Eclipse bypass. The start-stop command can be sent over serial communications. On an ACH580 drive without an Eclipse bypass, press Menu on the control panel. Select Primary Settings. Select Start-Stop Reference. Select Primary Auto Control Location. Select Start-Stop Direction From. Select Embedded Field Bus and press Save. The drive is now programmed to receive a start-stop command using the embedded field bus EFB. On an ACH580 drive with an Eclipse bypass, the ability to edit the start-stop programming using the ACH580 keypad is locked. To enable the start-stop command, use the Eclipse control panel. Press the Enter button. Select Parameter List. Press Enter. Use the down arrow key and select 16 system control. Press enter. 1601 start stop is highlighted. Press enter to edit. Use the up arrow and select 2 com. Press enter to save. The drive and the Eclipse bypass are now programmed to receive a start stop command using the embedded field bus EFB. The frequency reference can be sent over serial communications. These instructions apply for all ACH580 models with or without an Eclipse bypass. Use the ACH580 control panel. Press Menu. Select Primary Settings. Select Start Stop Reference. Select Primary Auto Control Location. Select Reference From. Select Embedded Field Bus. Press Save. The reference from should now read Embedded Field Bus. The drive is now programmed to receive a frequency reference from the Embedded Field Bus, EFB. When the frequency reference is sent over serial communications, the third line of the display needs to be edited to show the reference value. Use the ACH580 control panel. Press the less soft key labeled Options. Select Edit Home View. Use the down arrow and highlight the third line, AI1 actual value. Press Edit. The display slot menu will appear. 
At parameter, press Edit. Other is shown. Press Select. Use the down arrow and navigate to Group 28 Frequency Reference Chain. Press Select. Use the up arrow and navigate to Parameter 28.92 Frequency Ref Act 3. Press Select. The display will return to the Display Slot menu. Use the down arrow. The display style should read numeric. Press the down arrow again. The display decimals is highlighted. Press Edit. Use the down arrow to change the value to 1. Press Save. The screen returns to the display slot menu. Press the down arrow. Display name is highlighted and reads Frequency Ref Act 3. This is the correct name. Press the down arrow. Min is highlighted. Press Edit. Use the arrow keys to adjust this value to 0 Hz. Press Save. Press the down arrow. Max is highlighted. Press Edit. Use the arrow keys to adjust this value to 60 Hz, or if over frequency is used, adjust this to the over frequency value. Press Save. The screen returns to the display slot menu. Press the down arrow. The scale value range checkbox appears and should have a check mark in it. If it does not have a check mark, press select to enter a check mark. Press the down arrow three times. The display unit should be highlighted. Press Edit. Use the left arrow to delete the Z. Use the left arrow again to delete the H. Press the up arrow. The character selector will appear in the upper right corner of the screen. Press the right arrow three times to select the symbols. Press the down arrow to select the percent sign. Press Save. The screen returns to the display slot menu. Press the up arrow twice. The display min as is highlighted and should read zero. This is the correct value. Press the down arrow. The display max as is highlighted. Press edit. Use the arrow keys and change this value to read 100%. Press save. Now press done and press done again. The third line of the display should now read frequency ref act three with a percent sign on the left and a 0.0, .0 on the right. With the programming complete, verify functionality with the building automation contractor or the building operator. Warning, before testing, make certain that all personnel are clear and it is safe to operate the driven equipment up to full speed. Press auto on the ACH580 drive control panel. Send the ACH580 drive a start command through the serial communications. The drive should start and run to the minimum frequency. The third line of the display, Frequency Ref Act 3, should read 0%. Send the drive a 25% frequency reference. The third line of the display should show 25%. The drive output frequency should increase to quarter speed. Send the drive a 50% frequency reference. The third line of the display should show 50%. The drive output frequency should increase to half speed. Send the drive a 75% frequency reference. The third line of the display should show 75%. The drive output frequency should increase to three-quarter speed. Send the drive a 100% frequency reference. The third line of the display should show 100%. The drive output frequency should increase to full speed. Send the drive a stop command. The drive should stop. Send the drive an output frequency reference of zero. The third line of the display, Frequency Ref Act 3, should read 0%. With a successful test of the start stop and frequency reference, the ACH580 drive is now ready for operation following commands sent over serial communications. Thank you for watching this video. Visit us at cfmcompany.com to learn more about each of the manufacturers that we represent.